A Manchester United team piling on pressure towards the end of a game, trying to break down a 10-man defence, and then actually scoring right at the death. When have we last seen that? Certain man called Sir Alex Ferguson, what was the old phrase? Fergie time? It's now Mourinho time, or Jose time, whatever the hell you want to call it. Fantastic performance overall. I know we didn't really score much, but you have to credit Hull City. They were incredible. That is one of the best defensive uh, performances I've ever seen. Man of the match in this game, hands down Curtis Davis. The BT Sport commentator said his name about 200 times. By the way, I called this a fantastic performance. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. It was decent. It wasn't amazing. But towards the end of it, it just didn't look as though we were going to break it break down. Like we, we Break down, break through. We were creating so much, but we just didn't have the end product. And then... On comes a lad called Marcus Rashford. And Jesus Christ, this lad just cannot stop scoring. Fantastic work from him and Mkhitaryan off the bench. And you've got to say, both of these players deserve to start in the Manchester derby. Just for what they've done this game. I see a lot of people... A lot of United fans, and I can understand why. I, I find it hard not to be biased as well to players that have performed very, very well. For example, Marcia last season. But he just doesn't look like himself and I hate criticising him but at the minute off that performance Mkhitaryan and Rashford have to start and for whatever reason Rooney won't be dropped and I'll get on to him later on so I mean Rashford did a lot so him in for Martial and then Matt even though he's been fairly decent he's got to be dropped for Mkhitaryan ideally I would like um, Rooney to be dropped but <laughs> He won't be, but the thing is with Rooney, he had such a poor game again. But then, at the death, literally, he was the instigator for our goal. He literally wins the ball back and slots in a lovely through ball for Marcus Rashford to score. And, yeah, it, it's just really weird. No matter how bad Rooney is, he, he somehow does something in order to, you know, score or assist a goal. And ultimately, it got us the three points. I know Rashford will take the headlines, and rightly so, because he was terrific when coming on. Beating men, um, getting some good crosses in. He had a lovely darting run inside the box, and uh, it was a brilliant save. I can't pronounce the Hull's, go uh, Hull's goalkeeper, but he was terrific. Honestly, Hull, uh, they must feel hard done by. But if they perform like that for even half of the Premier League season, they aren't going down. They showed some fight, determination, grit. If Mike Phelan doesn't get the job now, that's an utter disgrace. Like The th things he's done with 13 or 14 fit first-team players is just stupid. And they also got another injury with Snodgrass, but, um, which is a bit of a shame because he came back from a long-term injury. But on to United. As I say, Mkhitaryan and Rashford, as soon as they won, they were brilliant. Ibrahimovic was very, very solid as well. Uh, some of the touches that man's uh, performed are uh, just unbelievable and that's what annoyed me because when he was doing this there was no players in or around him running making the runs like Rooney, Mata you're expecting them to maybe even Fellaini, Pogba both of those players didn't really have the best game Pogba was a little disappointing uh, considering how good his debut was but there were still flashes of brilliance he nearly scored a, um, a long range drive it went just over the bar but overall his, his performance was fairly disappointing Fellaini again um, well, he was disappointing as well. He wasn't anywhere near as calm and composed as he was last game. He got a stupid yellow card. Admittedly, in another game, he probably would have got... Uh, uh, sorry, in earlier seasons, he probably would have got another yellow card. But thankfully, he reined in after that, so he didn't get sent off. Shaw was good. Bay was good again. Uh, the defence overall was good. They didn't have too much to do because Hull were focusing on defending. Um... Yeah, I, 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 I'm just so happy. Like, literally, that brings back memories of Manchester United, of the Manchester United under Sir Alex Ferguson. We played some brilliant attacking football, but everyone knows there were so many games where we were losing or drawing right at the end. And then we come up with a late goal because we're piling pressure. And it was a carbon copy of that. And we got a goal in the 92nd minute to win the game. So now we're joint top of the league, I think, on goal difference. We're either top or joint with Chelsea or just below on goal difference. Either way, us and Chelsea are the only two teams thus far to have nine points out of nine. It looked as though we would drop two. And uh, Hull will feel very hard done by. For all our dominance, Hull deserved to draw because of the because of the determination and their defending was just outstanding. But you know, for them, six points out of nine with the fixtures they've had, that's terrific anyway. But for Manchester United, nine points, 
yes, this is brilliant. It's fantastic to get a late winner like that. It's going to boost confidence so much going into the international break and coming back for the Manchester Derby. We'll see what City can do against West Ham tomorrow, see if they can maintain their 100% record as well, which would mean it would only be Man United, Man City and Chelsea that have had 9 points out of 9. But anyway, I'm rambling. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Oh, by the way, I'll mention this in another video, but I've actually found a way to light my face so I don't look like a shadow all the time. Match reactions will be out uh, probably half an hour, an hour after this video is uploaded. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.